So this is my binary clock. It's based on ping pong balls and each ping pong ball has a full colour LED. All the LEDs are connected together and the connections are then made to a Colorduino or in my case a clone of the Colorduino which is a Funduino port on the back. A real-time clock keeps the time. As you can see I've got it cycling through the colours. Uh, once you get it programmed it's very easy to modify the pattern or the colours or the speed. Um, I've got it set up quite quick just so you can see the range of colours available. I've also had to put a light shining behind just to get a decent enough picture on the camera. For those of you who don't know how to read a binary clock you've got three sections. You've got the seconds, minutes and hours and in each case you've got units and tens. The bottom LED is worth one, the second is worth two, the third is worth four and the top is worth eight. You add up the illuminated LEDs in any one column and that will give you the number. Uh, so I'll just wait for the seconds to carry over and then I'll count through. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is my ping pong ball, full colour LED, binary clock.